please hit subscribe and change it to past tense. Hi Speechies, it's Lisa. Welcome back to Speech Fairies. Today I just wanted to show you a thrifted find that I found. Um, it's called Feltopia, which I thought would be great for using with my green screen. Obviously I won't be able to use the green pieces with the grass, but I would be using um, virtual backgrounds anyway for any of my green screen work. So I would find a picture of the ocean or find a picture of a grassy field. Same with, um, I guess this one might be summer, I'm not sure. And then that one's the one with the sky and the clouds. So if I need to stick this on my felt green screen, I could as an extra backdrop, but obviously not the green one. But I want that versatility in my background, so I'm gonna be doing it with um, you know, pictures downloaded off the internet. So I wanted to show you Feltopia because I thought you could keep an eye out for it because it was quite a little treasure when I found it, $2.99. And it's made by the Manhattan Toy Company, which is a great little company. It's got a little pocket at the back here. Put some of your felt things in. Um, it also has this background as well, I believe. This one, maybe it has a pocket too. No, so this is like grass and hills and sky, so you can use this one as well. And the back pocket, I think, is where we put those other extra backgrounds, but I'll leave them on the table for now. So Feltopia, I have to show you this. So it has all these cute little pockets in it, and each one has a different theme. So they don't have a lot of detail in them, and but it's kind of the shape of the item. So I'll show you the ocean ones. So we have a crab, a diver, a submarine, a fish, a seahorse, whale and an octopus so you kind of get the idea I'm not sure if some of my clients would know some of these shapes but I think they might so again maybe for an older child that knows the shape of things good for describing though if they don't know what it is or and of course it's not the right color so it's good for describing because we know octopus or octopi octopuses are not blue so they can't use color to describe they have to use this, got a big kind of baldy head and eight long legs. So those are the ocean ones. Let's go into this furniture one. I don't know if this is home or what. So we have a little lamp and a little table you can put things on. We've got a couch or a chair, a TV, old school. That's more of a chair and a little boy. Sounds cute. Let's look in the flower pouch. We, oh, I've got a different one in there. It's got a little owl. Oh, and like a little fairy. A girl fairy and a boy fairy. A mushroom. So this one must be the forest one. A little girl. A snail. A leaf. And a flower. So it's just like the basic shape. And then we'll open the last pocket and see what's in here. I've, oh, I've put other things in here too. Let's see. I've tried to organize my felt. So we've got a unicorn. Oh, another unicorn. That came from like an alphabet set because it's got the letter U on it. I guess a turret that goes on top of the castle. We've got the queen, I think. Another unicorn. A butterfly, another turret, and a dragon. So that's got a lot of pieces in it. I totally scored for $2.99. I'll probably supplement the other ocean set that I have that's already in felt, um, but I don't have much in the realm of the, you know, the fantastical ones. And forest, I think I could supplement the pieces. So I'm probably not going to keep them in this pouch, even though. I know where to put them back, but we've got a couple extra bonus pieces in here. I'm going to try to divide up all my felt into like themes, I guess. That's the easiest way for me to keep track of what I've already done. And then that way I might even put them in with these backgrounds as well. So I can have a couple different colors if I want to um, on my felt on my background for my green screen. So if you are unfamiliar with the green screen group, there's one on Facebook, it's Green Screen SLP. 
and there's tons of great ideas. People are sharing awesome files and great backgrounds and things. And I'm just trying to go through my collection and see what can I use in this virtual therapy world. It's so weird. So anyway, these are just my little ideas for today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. You can comment down below. I'm so happy there's little fairies in here. So if you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing. That helps our channel a lot. And as well as watching the videos from beginning to end, that also helps our channel as well. We thank you for watching and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now, everyone.